LSU Odyssey on the run. What up, everybody? It's your guy, LPS. Or as the recruits call me, Mr. Lon. Um, yes, happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I absolutely love every last one of you. Nothing but love. Whether you supported, hated, you know, subscribed, actively, like, rooted against me, like, you know, helped me with some advice, helped me get media credentials, whether you're a recruit's family who talks to me, you know, all of you, whether you're just a casual listener, sitting there eating some uh, gummy bears, Washing it down with some whiskey at two two p.m. in the afternoon. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not judging. I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm not. I'm not judging. We're here for you. We're all here for you. That's what you're supposed to do when you listen to me. Is is get inebriated and uh, get loose. Get loose and lusty. To quote the Rolling Stones, because um, that's what we do here. We're we're a rock and roll sports outfit. We kind of get a, a little crazy here. But, you know, I, 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 someone was telling me the other day, hey, 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 Lon, it's not, it's not football season. It's LSU women's basketball season. It's LSU men's basketball season. It's LSU gymnastics season. It's LSU baseball season. And I kind of looked at him and I was like, listen, listen, okay? That's fine for you. You can have that change of seasons. For us, 365 days out of the year. It is LSU football season, baby. It is never the off season. Uh, this is the first time we even allowed ourselves a little bit of a break. A couple day break. In the dog days of January. This is the first time we've done that. As as a as a company. As an organization. So that's that's uh that should tell you something about how busy it's been, especially during the off season, when you're covering LSU the last few years. I mean, it's been and it hasn't all been good news, has it? There's been a lot of bad, shitty news especially in the off season. Title 9, guys leaving that you don't want to see leaving the program, you know. All this type of stuff. Coach turnover, all the stuff that happened. All the transition stuff. Okay. But this is very interesting. If you haven't noticed, it's a little it's a, it's a lot a lot more quiet on the football front. For LSU, there's not just one scandal, one locker room dust up after another, one you know fractured relationship after another, one coach out the door after another, you know another transfer, another this, another that. Like yes, there were some transfers, there's some guys leaving. We had the whole thing with Kayshawn. Is he going to stay? Is he going to go? You know all that stuff. You know there was some. Jack Besh, of course, Walker Howard. Yes, there was some controversy. There was some worry. But all in all, just in general, haven't you noticed that there's just been like a like a, a quiet, just calm around LSU football? They've just been allowed to like have an off season, like like normal, and and actually like go through the motions, grind through the football school grind through this through the winter conditioning through the, through the winter workouts through the meetings all of that you know the freshmen getting off the ground running there are zero distractions right now for LSU football and I get it someone somewhere wanted to make a big story about you know Brian Kelly's getting divorced Brian Kelly's getting divorced Brian Kelly's getting divorced Almost like they wanted to celebrate that fact. You know, we, we don't know what the hell is going on in that story. And we don't really care. 
I think it's really messed up to try and uh, make a big brouhaha about someone's life, someone's family. Uh, you know, being in a spot like that. But, you know, I if that is all they've got, if that's all they've got to, you know, the media really to drub up about LSU right now, then that shows you the type of culture change, the type of positive culture change that Brian Kelly's already instilled within a, within a year and a half of being the coach at LSU. I shouldn't even say a year and a half. It's been really like a year and a couple months. It really has not been that long, and the change is quite swift. Um, it's extremely impressive. It's extremely impressive what Brian Kelly has done to the program. And if there's any evidence of change at LSU culture-wise, change at LSU with, you know, as far as the atmosphere around the program, as far as the discipline, as far as um, what's going on in the locker room, as far as who's leading that team, as far as who's really in charge, as far as what those players are required to do, and as far as what what are the goals, what are, what are their what are the future goals here for this team, the immediate goals for 2023. Everyone's locked in, and I gotta tell you. <laughs> it actually felt great for once as, as someone who covers LSU football more than, you know, most people cover their own religion. Um, it felt good to actually have a break for once because it wasn't just you don't get to write, you don't have to write LSU football, which, which I love to do. It was, okay, okay, they're going to be like normal for once. It's not going to be some crazy... Uh, shit hits the fan thing here um, where just one scandal, one craziness after another it has been a normal, typical off season and that's the Brian Kelly effect right there man, that's the Brian Kelly effect